In this video, you'll learn how to easily measure the electromagnetic fields in a hotel room. So the first meter that I use measures microwave radiation, and this includes Wi-Fi and cell towers. And you can see that the levels are quite low in this room. This is an ideal reading for when you're sleeping. So if you are in a place that has high levels of Wi-Fi, you can use a bed canopy, and then you'll get to readings like this under the bed canopy. Now the next meter that I use is an AM radio and this picks up electromagnetic interference that's on the wiring and is radiating out into the living environment. So I tune it to the AM dial all the way to the right which is 2 megahertz and it's measuring electromagnetic interference at this range. And in this room the, the noise is actually quite low and that's what you want to see. Then I move on to magnetic fields. You can see here we're at about 0.3 milligauss. Now that's higher than ideal. Generally you want to be below about 0.1 milligauss, uh, but this isn't a deal breaker for most people. And this isn't really something that you can change in a short-term environment. So you just want to pick a hotel room that has the lowest magnetic field readings possible. Then I move on to electric fields. And you can see here we're at 180 volts per meter, which is really extreme. And there's a reason for that. And that's because this lamp is plugged in. And this is kind of a lesson that all of us can use in our own homes, where you never want to have anything plugged in near your bed or even in your bedroom, because that'll really increase the electric fields. So now we're at around 4 volts per meter, which is much better that uh, that will work for most people. I get my best sleep when I'm at about one volt per meter. So this is how I measure any room for EMFs and hopefully you can do the same wherever you're at.